guys, check this out. So a lot of people already know about this machine. This is a Quadzilla 500. So everybody's been wanting to see a Quadzilla on the channel for like ever. And John has finally given us the pleasure. This isn't my quad. This is John's. Uh, but I'm actually going to be doing the work to it to get this thing going. And uh, I kind of wanted to show you guys all together, but John's very excited to get this thing apart. Yes. <laughs> So what, what, you said it's got a lock top end, right? Yeah, I mean, you could show, come over here and show them the kicker, guys. The kicker's locked pretty solid. I did get it to move like a quarter inch, um, but that was it. It won't move any more than that, which makes me sus of the top end. Definitely. So I'm, pr I'm pretty sure at this point it's top end, but I mean, we're going to know here in 20 minutes when we get this thing off if top end's bad or something to crank. Yeah, what we're trying to do is figure out everything that it needs so that John can order the parts, and then I'm just going to swap stuff out. Yep. Um, so you're looking at new new plastics in the back because the back plastics are, yep. are wrecked. But the rest of this machine is actually pretty tight. Yeah, it's actually a really nice quad. It looks like they went over it. Everything looks like if, Wes, if you get a close up on the engine, it looks like if you clean that up, everything was freshly powder coated like maybe a year or two ago. Apparently the guy who had it before the kit I got it off of, uh, redid the entire thing from the ground up. I mean, there's uh, a lot of people are saying there's like aftermarket A arms on it because the ball joints are swappable, and just like everything's gen generally speaking like very clean on this machine. The only thing that I saw that wasn't very clean was the case, one of the case bolts snapped off for the case saver, which is super common when they wrap the chain up. Steering stem is bent. Yep, yep. Steering stem is bent. We know that already. Handlebars are bent. <laughs> Any quad I work on it has to come with bent steering. Yep, stem. yep, yep. So, and then uh, I believe this was bent from the crash. So I was looking at a new grab bar for the back to, to go with the plastic. Oh, Still, is that what happened? He crashed it. Yeah, well, I think he did anyway, because this is all bent and everything, so. Now the aftermarket one probably won't come with these supports. On the, um, the Quadzilla and the LT250R Quad Racer, the fender support system is kind of like elaborate. It's got like these long steel arms and supports. Interesting, but you can see this side's bent down too. The fenders aren't even touching it. They're supposed to put a little bit of pressure on them. Just keeps them looking like they're not, you know, tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's, I see that a lot. You roll it one time and they bend. And done for. Yeah. So we're gonna pull the top end off, see what's going on with this thing so that we can get the entirety of the parts list. Hopefully the, the uh, we're hoping that the crank is good. Yeah. That's just a top end job. Yeah, we want this to be really quick. Top end, some odds and ends. We're gonna throw some new tires on it. And uh, I'm thinking what we're gonna put this thing up against is like everything. Yeah. <laughs> quad Wars! Yeah, we're gonna do Quad Wars. Definitely against the Banshee. Uh, and definitely, we're thinking an LTR 450. Yeah. So new Quad Racer versus Quadzilla. Yeah, dude. And we've got a couple things that they haven't even seen on my channel yet. We've got several of the same machine now that we can compare this against. Yeah, yeah. In so, different modded levels. So it's, yeah, gonna, it's gonna get cool. really interesting. Yeah, I've never ridden a Quadzilla either. John's ridden one yeah. like once or twice. Once, I've never had, I've never ridden one. I know they're Torque Monsters. Oh, dude, this looks like it has water in it. Check this out, Wes. That looks like just water, doesn't it? That doesn't Smell look like it. Any. I can feel it. It's not oily. There's a very little bit, but I mean, it's probably residual from before. That's water. I can smell that. That's bad looking. Wow. Dark. It wasn't leaned out. That makes me nervous. Look at the plug. The plug looks good. Looks rich. There's no lean spots at all. It's black. It's wet too. Damn. That's a bad sign. Well, he could have swapped the plug out. Could have been trying different plugs so we could get it. Sure. Yeah. All right. Let's get the exhaust off of this bad man, the jammer. Yo, I'll be back in two seconds. I just realized that I had to change. Okay. One, two. Mike's got to go do his hair and makeup real quick. And uh, we'll be right back, guys. I swear. He does this all the time. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Well, these fellers hard at work. Huh? Hardly working. This is gonna be interesting. How's this bad man the jam come off of here? Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's way easier than banshee pipes. That's way easier than banshee pipes. Six and a half hours later. Isn't it crazy how the the airbox runs through the frame. I need an eight millimeter. Oh, what? The airbox to the boot attaches right to the frame. 
This thing is an air tube. Get out! I did not even yeah. see that. Dude, that's crazy. It's the intake. Well, then yeah. we we know this really wasn't modified because it still retains the stock air box lid and everything on it. So it shouldn't be that bad. You can get that carb out of there without taking the box off? Yes. I do that very often, actually. So right now, this is the power valve linkage cover. Um, and Mike said there's a little piece of uh, linkage in there you have to disconnect. And actually, yeah, it's just one eight millimeter bolt. You pull it off. That's what operates the power valve slide inside the cylinder from the crankcase. I believe there's a counterweight in there, right, Mike? A, a spring and a counterweight. And when that when that uh, goes so fast, it probably springs in and pulls that down. I'm not exactly sure how they work on the quadrant. Yeah, each one's different. I know that much. It is hooked up though. But you can if it's you can get a close up of this. It's it's. If it's like the Delta 250 r it's pretty easy. There's like yeah, on it. yep, yep. Oh, okay, yeah, I see that. This little guy comes off, and then the rod pulls out. But uh, it's kind of very hard angle to get to. Looks like it'd be way easier to just freak. There we go. Boom. See that? She's off of there. It's a race to see who can get the 10 out faster. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Ooh, look at these. Shoulder bolts. Real shoulder bolts. Don't want to lose those. No. Check those out. Is there studs in there? There we are. Don't lose your nuts, Mike. Ah. I haven't lost them yet. Whew. She moved. Yeah, man, was that? That was pretty tight. That's what she said. Oh, that gasket's old. Well, this thing has not been touched in a Ooh, broken piston. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, dude. I got chunks on my fingers. Here's well, the th here's the thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's chunks in the piston. Yeah, bro, I, look at the chunks on my finger. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get these four <clears throat> case bolts off. And, let's uh, sort of lube it up to see if we can get it to free up. Yeah, because that cylinder might not want to walk. Move? No. Oh, dude, the piston moves. Look at it. Oh, oh, yeah. What the fuck? All right, oh, God, dude. Off, dude. I hope that it's, that might be a locked up crank. No, we just not. got the, uh, the piston to wiggle. So. Maybe something fell in there. Uh, could be. There's chunks in there, dude. Yeah. See we get that side? Side? Done. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, this Seems should come right off then. Parting them out. There we go. That's what right, right off, dude. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, dude. There's huge chunks in here. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> oh my God. Broken. The bottom of the pistons broke. So there might be piston skirts stuck in the bearings, which could seize it. Yeah. How do I, how do I get this guy off of here? Yeah, because it won't move at all. Wow. That's Damn, so looks good. Oh, yeah, look at the bottom of the piston. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. A broken skirt. Watch this, dude. Ready? You ready for this? Oh. Uh, wow, there's some big chunks. Bad juju. <laughs> Chunk <laughs> So let's top it. Oh, dude, you see this? You see it's peened here? That's an old school builder's trick to keep a gasket from blowing out. Really? Yep. Almost. There, you got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, dude, get some close ups of the uh, car the tar the carnage, bro. Dude, you see the ports on here? Where's the power valve? Look at that port. Look at those chunks in there. Dude, the whole skirt is snapped off. The whole back of the skirt. This, that's what happened, the skirt snapped. Oh my God, bro. That's what that is? Yeah, look at that. The whole back is just snapped off. I bet that's all in shards. That's probably, yeah, the, that whole motor part. Yeah, that's, you can't either, you, you, the only, you would have to flush it. Something's out. jammed in there. And it probably went through. I wouldn't be surprised if it blew the crank seals out and everything. 
I mean, that's a lot of material. Yeah. To be to be in there, and it's steel. Well, you can sleeve it. LA sleeves make sleeves that are like 150 bucks. Yeah. How much does it cost to sleeve it then? Here. Yeah, there ain't no sense in using bearings. Yet. The balls could have little micro dents and stuff on them, and once the yeah. balls and the ball bearings have micro dents on them and that, and the roller bearings, they're not usable after that. You could kill this thing. You you could get this all back together, even if you clean everything out and get the chunk and everything out of there. Clean this thing out, and the bearings could die like in an hour from now because of how much wear and, and dings and micro dents and scuffs and all things that all this these chunks of material hit those bearings and it winds up killing all that stuff. So we don't mess around with that. We want this thing to live. And uh, this is something I plan on holding on to for a little bit, at least a little bit. So, um, and even so, if, we're gonna, if we were gonna sell it or, or a wrap or a giveaway or, or anything like that, then uh, we would want this to be a good running clean machine for the next guy. So we're gonna have to take it apart and you know go through everything. So, unfortunately. Quadzilla. Quad Wars Quadzilla. God damn it. Yeah, man, we don't really. Like, it's an easier one, just a top end job. We yeah. want to do it. Hey, I thought, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what happened to thought. This I is the crappy that. part about two smokers, dude. Is you don't know dude, what the problem. That could probably be. made the nastiest sound when that thing went. He said that he didn't. He said he just press and, and stopped. Dead. Stop that. Ooh. Ooh. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. There was a washer in there. Yeah, there's one on this side. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, dude, there's so much scum down there. Oh, man. Woo. Look at all that caked in there. If no you could clean that out, it would probably rotate, but you're going to have to. If something's jammed in there. There's no way from... to clean that out without. You have to sp split the cases. Damn it. It's like it's got summer teeth. Some oh, are there, some are not. <laughs> Look at the whole bottom of it. It's all yeah. nicked up and everything. Dude, this goes on the wall, Shane. Even though it wasn't us that did it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, wow. Yeah, man. All right, Mike, the rest of the job is on you. We're out of here. <laughs> All right, Mike. Jeez, look at the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess this is going to be a, uh, a TBD. To be determined. Yeah, we're not really sure what kind of parts this is going to need. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like I'll be splitting some cases. Okay, guys, so now you know the scoop with the Quadzilla. This is how she sits. She'll be sleeping here for a little bit until we get the cylinder sorted out. I just got off the phone with Harry McDermott. Uh, a lot of people know him as Trinity Racing. So he is a Quadzilla expert. And luckily, he has taken on the challenge of resleeving this cylinder. Um, originally, we were going to go to an 88, 89, uh, the newer style uh, sleeve, because this is an 87. And there's a little bit of an update to the 88 plus. But apparently, that's not necessary. Anyways, there are a number of things that we're going to be doing to this cylinder so that when it comes back, it's going to be nice and reliable so it's going to be uh what john wants is basically as oem as we can pretty much get it it'll just have the exhaust on there but it's not going to be a crazy thing it's a quadzilla it's a fast part so while we're waiting for those parts we'll be getting back to the yz125 check this out got this topar off-road products that's that stator cover we were waiting on and the stainless steel bolt kit for the engine so it is time to get rocking and rolling. We can start putting this thing together. So I love all you guys. I will see you in the next one. But before I say peace out, uh, for anybody that followed the Predator giveaway, I'm going to post up some of the results of that and uh, the reactions of the people that won the prizes. And uh, I got the list of everybody who has entered here, all 200 names. And uh, yeah, we're just going to pick the top three. First one will be uh, third prize. Second one will be second prize. And then the third one will be the uh, first place winner, which is the Predator 560. So but it's the first time we're doing this, so we'll we'll try to do this without a without a hitch, but yep, God only knows. <laughs> True. We tried to set these cameras up so that everything is within the screen, so that we can't like go off to the side and switch anything out. We're not gonna go through each and every one, but like there's we just you know, no duplicates or any weird shit like that. They're all every number's in here. You guys can see them all. This is the one through 100. All right, this is 101 through 200. See all the numbers in there. No duplicates or any of that bullshit. All right, that looks pretty cool. Sorry, wait. All right, first one. Just gonna reach in. 
68. Dust and Justice. Show that way. That's number three. Yo, bro. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, dude? Yo, did you watch the drawing? I did. I won 500 bucks. Yeah, man. You're the winner of 500 bucks. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, you got it, dude. One thirty-five, number one thirty-five, Artem. All right. Oh, we got him. Yo, what's going on, man? Yo, I saw. Did you watch the uh, drawing? Yeah, I did. Yeah, bro, you got second place. Why am I nervous for this? <laughs> I think you're like nervous, excited though. Yeah. You know? All right. All right, and the winner is forty-five. I Congratulations, that. dude. I recognize that. <laughs> that Oh no, we can't get him on. Oh, oh there man. he is. Yo, what's up, man? Yo, were you watching the... You saw it? Yeah. Yeah, you won, bro. I can't believe it. That's crazy, man. We were... <laughs> but yeah, dude, so... Uh, where, dude, wherever you are, man, it's beautiful out, it looks like. We're, we're like... Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Damn, yeah, he's oh. all the way in Cali? Yeah, we were kind of hoping that it was somebody closer we could actually deliver it. But Cali, man, we're over in the Philly area. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but, I, I, I kind of realized that after you like, took the shipping on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's all good. We'll be able to ship it out to you. But I can't yeah, per sure. I can't personally deliver it to you. Right, it's, it's all good. Yeah, but congratulations, dude. Yeah, um, congrats, bro. I guess we'll figure out the logistics and everything.